Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astra County. So, uh, the last episode we had the Night Gaunts retaking a, a uh, agricultural warehouse that we had sort of between our headquarters and a uh, base uh, off to the west where we're, our current armored unit is sort of stationed. And it went dark and we just assumed that they were trying to cut us off. So. Uh, we quickly went down there with the Night Gods, retook it, and there were some clan units that had moved in and taken that. Seems some of these clan units are, are allied with the Eastern Warlord. Once we retaken the warehouse, we detected a couple of other units heading towards an outpost that's sort of dark right now, sitting along the coastline. There's not very many people there. So we're going to move the Night Gods down there. If we can get a battle with them going in a location where we can defend relatively easily, especially if they are clan units, we should be able to, uh, you know, fend fairly well. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, it seems that we've beat the enemy to the uh, location, so we're gonna move up. Um, there are gun turrets and stuff here, but they're not really online. We brought some uh, um, uh, support units with us to be able to get them back online, but we're just gonna move up uh, and take up some positions. I don't know if the enemy is actually in the area or if this is actually uh, their intended um, you. destination, but it's highly likely that it is. I copy. We're just going to get everybody up here. Now we switched out the uh, the striker for the cloudbuster for a little bit of range defense here up on this hill. So I'm really hoping that that pays off, but we'll see. Now let's go full speed if we can and get up on top of here. We're not sure if they're trying to capture this installation or destroy it, but. Uh, it, it is here on the on the coast on the southern lake here, so it does have a good commanding view Good strategic location. So if they take this base, they can easily resupply themselves Well, it looks like the enemies arrived at the same time that we have and it looks like they're trying to wipe it out. I wonder if they've uh If their first um, instinct was to take the base over, but now that uh, they realize that there's enemies here, that they're going to uh, try and just destroy the base rather than capture it. All right, we need to get up here. We have like, zero sight on the enemy, so I'm hoping we pick that up real fast here. I'm going to need to get eyes on real quick. All right, which we do. So now, what do we have down here? We've got. Scorpion with two missile and one ballistic hard point. Locust 2C, a lot of missile hard points. Elementals, we know how dangerous they can be. So let's actually just go ahead and... What's the best chance to hit, actually? We'll just fire on the one with the best chance here. So it is the Locust. We're just going to fire on this guy. So we got a Zephyr moving into play. Looks like these guys came to, uh, I'm showed up to win here rather than just uh, playing around, so we better get on them fast. Hi. So the Cloudbuster's got two large lasers. Ooh, what's this guy down here? Kit Fox? Adder. Yeah. It's a lot of energy. 50% chance to hit on that guy, though. 25, 15. All right, we're going after the Zephyr, and I guess hopefully we can punch through. Ah, it's got a lot of armor. It's going to say hopefully we can punch through the side, but Affirmative. well, I hope we get hit for Christ's sake. No love on that strike. Yeah, you think? Got another vehicle down here. All right, we got to get these turrets online. More importantly, we need to punish these guys hard here, so... Move up here at maximum evasion. Okay, 57, 64. Really good chance to hit on this Scorpion. How much armor does it have? Not much. It could be a kill shot. Two SRM-6s and a machine gun. 64 in that one. Well, they got another guy down here. Who's our... 
Got a lot of guys down here. All right, let's hammer this guy. Nope. Nope. Got them damn work. toadies. What do we got back here? Another scorpion. All right, well. Double time. Let's go. Jeez, they got lots of guys down here. What's this? Cougar B? That's a hell of a lot of guys. It's just firing this guy. Hopefully we can get a kill here. Alright, who's panicking anyway? They're bringing a lot of guys to this fight. But he's got a large laser. But I don't think the Hussar's got a lot of armor. I think we can probably wipe it out. He's one of the mechs that we did start with. Glad we got the high I'm glad we had the high ground on these guys. That could be a kill shot in the Scorpion. Hussar, I don't think he's got a lot of armor. Oh, well, it's actually not that bad. Okay, well, we're gonna go on the Scorpion and see if we can take it out. I copy. Oh, for crying out loud. <sighs> Orders? Can't do this. Can't do this, guys. We gotta get on them. Moving to position. Alright, same guy. Uh, let's switch to Inferno, though. Locking target. Got him. We laid down the barrage in a good area, though. Reporting vehicle destroyed, boss. Thanks, Bubba. Took four of us to kill that one vehicle. Interesting. They're not shooting. Why is that? Are they in a bad angle? Is that what it is? I'll take it back. They are shooting. Doing a lot of damage, too. The locust right there. Roger that. I don't like being this close to them, but we got to get in on these guys. Ballistics jammed. He's got an ultra. Uh, 17, 37, 37 on the locust. The locust should come down pretty quick, I think, if we focus fire it. So if we could get a get a couple of good shots in on it. There we go. Turrets are up. Well, he just committed suicide. Yes, Commander. It's this guy here, right? That's that guy. Roger. Well, let's see if we can get a headshot on him. Alright, two good hits though. We'll take it. And we got turrets though. What do we got here? Light LRM turret. Nah. Eh. What's this one? This is the most important one. Sniper turret. Okay, cool. Hopefully it's something good in there. PPC, damage PPC in a machine gun. What do we got here? Goss emplacement. Don't shoot me in the back, please. Royal Zephyr. Okay. Zephyr. Yeah. Keep hitting them, guys. Okay, so what's the last turret we have here? Light quad gun, Ultra 2. Well, what's up, 
How's that a quad gun? It's only got two, uh, two things there. Move back over here. Stay below that gun. I gotta target the overheating guy because it's really the best thing to do. Gonna still try for the headshot. Don't think we'll get it, but uh, let's throw the rocket pack. Well, let's not. Save that for when we really need it. Okay, he's gone. That's a kill. So it looks like this is probably their main force. I'm here. They've got some pretty heavy hitters here, so we're gonna have to be very, very careful with what we're doing. Uh, I thought I had a shot in the locust, but I don't. Um, 3339. Okay, now, how warm are you? You're not warm at all. Um, nobody's warm down here. Let's switch these to tandem then. Um, I'm going to hold off on using the incendiaries. I know we've we still got a bunch of turns left, so I'm not exactly sure what else we're going to have to ex be expecting here, so... The Cobra Strike. So they have a support lance plus a vanguard. Well, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that in a base attack before. Uh, we don't want to go down there. Let's pull back this way, though. Thirty-eight, thirty-two, twenty-nine. That's the vehicle. I don't give a crap about the vehicle. Let's go after this guy. Best chances to hit, so... Um, let's go with standard ammo, though. Wow, that was really bad. I think Gatekeeper is... Uh, he's got some serious confidence issues. After that last match... Okay, if we can pull down, or at least have the Locust almost pulled down this turn, he's retreating. Getting out of the barrage. So let's hope their barrage can do a little bit of damage, add a little bit of heat to those two guys. If they stay there. Now he's moving out. Ooh, that's a, that's a heavy hit. Got to back up. Standing by. Okay, not bad chances to hit. We're going to continue with the locust, though. Affirmative. Oh my God! This is not good. Not good. We got two vehicles left. And then we got seven turns left. Light damage, Commander. Okay. Commander. So we took a lot of hit on the side. On the left side. Move back, make sure our right side is facing the enemy. Firing on this guy. Oh my god, what's going on with our targeting? Gotta make sure we keep moving. Okay, two large lasers, great chance to hit on this guy. Yes! Finally! Not happy about all the clan gear that we're losing, but we should get enough in the uh, loot table if we win this battle. If we win this battle. They've done some serious damage to these buildings already. I'm hoping those emplacements can do some good damage here. 
I wonder if these guys are just waiting for reinforcements. What did our sniper turret have again? Oh, the PPC and the machine gun. Don't shoot at the toadies, unless that's all you can shoot at. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Of course you are. Looks like enemy reinforcements. We got guys in the hill. Ah. Uh. Orders. No, sir. I don't like it. Move order received. Where are the enemies and what are they? So we've got Cougar Prime, Toads, another Hussar, and Pegasus 2C. And is that it? Could be. Okay, significant damage on this guy. Critical hit, Commander. So, um, people have said that um, if uh, clan pilots bail out, you know, we could take them as bondsmen. I, I kind of see that. So I think we're going to allow it. If we need a pilot or whatever, and we want to take a, a, a clan pilot as a bondsman, we can do that. I'll just have to say they're a clan pilot, obvi obviously, because, you know, there's no way to, uh, to differentiate them. So, all right, we're going to fire on this guy. Unsettled, huh? Got something you want done? We got a bit of time before those other guys make their way in here, so let's aye, aye. get as much damage out on these guys as we can. It's going to be a turn before they're in here. Let's go for the kill. Well, not a kill, but I think it's enough to... Uh, critical hit. His large is in the center torso, I think. He are mediums in the center torso. Okay. Standing by. That's probably a follow-up strike from the uh, emplacement, so I'm not going to worry about him right now. Uh, let's just get on this guy. Oh, the locust bailed. He was taking some collateral there. That was fortunate. I was actually, in the back of my head, I was kind of hoping that would happen, but... I didn't think I was going to hit the Locust. Comes that Hussar back again. Yeah, he's got that large laser. We got another Locust. We can't let that Toady get too close. Um, we, need to, we need to get on that guy. He's getting too close to the base now. As long as we ain't shooting me, man. Commander? Get on that Tody Rose. On the Tody. Confirmed. Oh, you're brutal. Look at that. Two good shots. Come on, guys. Let's let Rose be an example. Let's all follow it. Okay, Marlin. Yes, Commander. Same idea. Let's get on that toady. Let's keep our right side to the enemy, though. We're kind of in a good position. We got this little hill that's shielding us from the reinforcements. Ooh, that was a good leg hit. A couple more leg hits. Reporting critical hit. Nice. Maybe the turrets will shoot for that guy and take him out. Well, they won't take him out. Another adder. Get 
Okay, you waste your shots, buddy. So we've got Vanguard, Support Lance. That's the main group. But usually there's two more lances that come after that. I really hope not, because that's going to be in another 10 guys back. That's probably 10 guys back here. As long as he's not shooting for the base, we'll be okay. Svantovit. Come on, shoot those toadies. Damn it. This could end up being a loss. We gotta we gotta think about that too, if we need to pull out. This is terrible. If these guys take the lower lower part of our uh, our territory here. Damn it. At least it's only a narc. Yeah, at least you're shooting for those guys. Okay. Those toadies are going to wreck that turret. Yeah, they got hard gel. Don't get too close to the toadies, but get move up just enough. And far away. Okay. I don't know if they're going to keep moving towards the base or not. Ready to get it on. See what our chances on this Hussar are. 46. And 65 on this guy. Rocket pack up. Let's see if we can take these guys Fire down. Significant damage. Nice. Whole side gone. Waiting for orders. I was hoping I could get a rear shot in this Uzar, but it's not going to happen. High tailing it. I'm getting dizzy. What the hell? 47. We're going to take it. Let's see if we can get this guy to run away. Firing on target. Ah. Dude. No joy. Yeah, you think? There's a bad time to miss, too. It's a waste of a shot. So I'm hoping the turrets can finish up that toady because I don't want to waste any more shots on it. Which Huzar is this? The one that was close up? Or is this... It is. See, if we had shot him, I will be done. he may have decided to move away. Maybe. And maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. Uh, tandem again. Uh, I'm not going to use the bolt. We're going to hold off on the bolt-on rockets. Wow. We have height advantage. Like we're doing, like we've got everything right. Just uh, my pilots just can't connect. Maybe it's just they don't like fighting other clan warriors. Hold on. Alright. I need you to be a target for five more rounds. <laughs> they just got too many guys. Got too many guys. Just so you guys know, this is a one skull mission. You think a one skull base defense would be okay? 
I wonder, you know, if they didn't have that support lance, that gives them 8 and then plus another 10, so 18 guys. It's a little much, I think. But it's all the roll of the dice, right? Sometimes you get a good, good roll, sometimes you don't. And I've been finding, too, I think it really depends on your unit and what the skull rating is. Like right now, my, my unit's skull rating of 2. So I think this is kind of the upper level of one skull for them. So they kind of give them some, like a little bit of a bonus. At least that's my theory. I'm going to go with that. All right, Marlon. Moving out. We need to get as many evasion pips as we can. 50% with the flamer on that guy, but... Do I go after the toady? Maybe. And then we let the turrets kill the rest. Or at least target the rest. Don't shoot me in the back. 30% with the larges on you. Oh, geez, that's nice. Knowledge. Yeah, both large lasers hit. Nice. Gonna go right after that guy, are ya? I think the Hussar's got a... Uh, I, I don't know if it's a Guardian or a Beagle. It's got something on it. Which I think is why it's so hard to hit. Hey, hang in there, guy. Where are you going? Don't get too close to them. Alright, they're gonna target him. I don't blame him. It's a good move. Oh, going after the cougar, really? Ooh, one hit. That's nice. At least the AC2 turret's got a chance to fire. Good to go. Yep, that guy stays in perfect range if I back up. Let's go after this adder. Firing full complement on the enemy. Yeah, baby. Inflicted some heavy damage. I mean I'm receiving you. We're not gonna get good salvage off that, but I, I don't I don't care because we need to like get these guys out of here. Flames on the way. We're gonna take I'm the flames. We gotta get a side shot in this to follow up. Um, we've only got 30 rounds of tandem left. Let's switch to tandem left. Let's switch to Inferno. Get some damage on this guy. Our barrage is ready, but we're not gonna use it on this guy. Come on, bail out. Nope. Let's push this Huzar. Get some shots on him. Please connect. Alright, three hits. Beautiful. Alright, we've almost got our um, our lines front. Well, I don't want to call it a front, but our front stabilized here. Kind of along here. If we can keep them back behind this crest... And they don't really get a good direct line of sight on those buildings. We may be able to pull this off. We're on round five right now. We got five more after this, so we gotta be careful. Alright, he's pulling back, kind of. Um, let's go after this cougar. Maybe we can force them to force them back a bit if we can get a couple of hits on this guy. Uh, standard ammo, yes. Okay, large laser hits. Nice. 
Good damage. We've already taken down one cougar. If we can get this one down, maybe we'll get enough parts to uh, put one together. I think Anthony's right. I think we should be looking for just clan gear for this for this playthrough for these guys, which means the Jenner's got to go. Which means the um, yeah, it's a, oh, that's a turret. Okay. The Jenner's got to go. The Anubis has got to go. We'll just try and keep clan gear and clan parts as best we can. And if we can get enough elemental toadies, we can put together maybe an elemental platoon. Fuck. Stop shooting my buildings. As long as they're different buildings, kind of okay with it. But if it's shooting the same buildings, it's a bad idea. Do we want to go after... I don't want to... I can't give you my side. That's still giving you a chance to shoot my side. How far can we go? That's not too bad. I want to try and finish this guy. 20, eh? Let's see if we can get a plink on his head. We're gonna shoot at him. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. I was actually hoping for an ejection. Didn't think it was gonna happen, but that's nice. That's some good parts there. I think we'll only get one off that though, because we cleared his side out and then his head just disappeared, so I think we'll only get one part, but we'll see. What are these two guys? Two adders, Jesus. Once they start getting close, it's gonna be tough. We're gonna have to like expose everybody. And fire at them because if we don't if we don't expose everybody to them and fire at them. Um and we try to just you know just fired a couple of them here and there, then what'll end up happening is they'll just all sh start shooting for the buildings. Yeah, please drive through the fire and take damage. I improved that. I, I, I proved that. Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. Hang in there. Don't bail. We need you. Ooh, one point damage, nice. Okay, we're shooting for the turret. That's our turret. Ah, no hits. Looked like it was gonna hit though. Oof, I love that look. Looks awesome. Alright, salamander toads. Good to go. Roger. Fuck this Huzar. Um, how many turns we got left? Four. We're gonna hold on to that for the last three turns. Yeah, he's got a beagle probe, okay. Scored a critical hit. Let's get in on this cougar. I know we're taking the low ground, but I want to limit the number of time people that can actually shoot at me. Not the best location, but we'll fire it all. Yeah. Oh, that was a head hit. I looked like it was, but I wasn't sure. Oof. Orders. Is 
see if I move it's not bad let's get into here I don't want to be too far out of position and I don't want too many of those guys to be able to see me so let's just shoot this guy here see what we can get out of this all right two hits we'll take it I live to serve Let's get you to do the same thing. Let's get into here. On the way. Let's push this guy. Make his life hell. Yeah. Acknowledge. This just in. Critical hit. Critical hit. He's going next though, I think. So this guy's out of the battle. This guy's pretty much out of the battle. You're gonna hang around, are you? I thought he'd try and run. Thought for sure he'd try and run. So he's got a lot of pulses. He's gotta get close to use them. As long as you're taking those long ranged shots, low chance to hit. I'm happy with that. We can't get a side shot on this guy, can we? 28% with the Lerm. Taking shots on both sides. Let's move back here. I know we're exposing our side to this guy, but I'm going to move back here. We're going to take a shot at the Cougar. Roll the dash. Couple points. We can keep the fire suppression up on that hill and try and get them to back up a little bit. Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. We need you as a target for a couple more rounds. Commander. Let's see if we can get a good. Uh, here we go. Moving out. As much as I want to keep the pressure up on that Hazar, it's kind of pinned back there right now. We got a good chance to work on this guy. So, okay, one hit. Nice. Be nice to pick up that. Like cougar parts. Damn it, he's shooting the building. Don't know if that was a hit. Might have been. Yeah, baby. Bolt on AMS can be worth its weight in gold, man. Don't! Oh! Committed suicide. Okay, well he's staying in the fight, which means we can apply a lot of damage to that guy. I see that. Don't worry, we're gonna back you up. That guy pushing like that was a huge mistake. He's gonna bail either this turn or the next one. Ooh, he did hit somebody. I think it was a Hussar, though. Okay, we got an AC hit on him. PPC missed, though. He barely moved, so it's going to be easy to hit him this turn, and he's over. He's heating. All right. Who's going where? Gatekeeper goes. Yeah, we knew that was going to happen. He committed suicide. There's not much we can do about it. Ah, uh, I can't get too close to that freaking toady though. 80%? Still 80% here. Let's get into here. Get on this cougar. Hope we get lucky and hit his head again. Oh, we killed the hussar behind him. Did we take his head off? I'll have to go back and look at that. I don't even know what how we hit him. I await your command. Like where we hit him, I mean. You know? God. Do I risk it? He's 
badly damaged. Badly damaged. Let's go after him. Um, is this the time to use this? No, we want to use these on vehicles, I think. Let's go this route. Um, not going to use the tandem because it's through armor criticals. Oh, maybe. Um, yeah, we got three rounds left, so including this one. So let's just use tandem. Target acquired. There we go. Hoping you salvage that. So they're going to lose some visibility on this side. It'll make this guy a lot harder to hit. Elemental looked like he was backing up. I think he's just coming around this way now, though. Ready for orders. All right, Blade, we need you up here, man. You're a little bit out of position. That's more of a direct line of sight on the cougar. Let's try and take that. Don't hit me, though, all right, bud? I know I took your lance away from you, but don't shoot me in the back, whatever you do. Okay, engine crit. Target's taking a critical hit. Gonna be generating a lot of heat. Commander. Let's get you over here. I know you're out of position, but not much I can do about it. No, I think you're not gonna shoot, but you are gonna get back up here. We gotta keep them in that valley, and in order to do that, we need to have as many units up here as possible. So we'll take that turn for you not to fire. Our Miss Lynx is out of position, but we're okay with that. We took out the Hussar, which is good. Receiving you. There's a solid red line. Don't shoot me. Fiery. Yes! Large pulse is gone, but that's fine. Bail out. Ah, damn it. We still got the two large lasers from the Cloudbuster. And we're going to push them. We're going to push them hard. I think really right now their only advantage is the uh, LRMs. Those two adders are kind of sitting back there, but I think they're the LRM-15, where the adder has the LRM-15 in the right arm, or left arm. One of the two. I can't remember which arm it's in, but... And as long as we can keep these other piddly vehicles and the locusts down here tied up, to stop them from shooting from the, for the buildings, I think we're okay. I think we're okay here. it be two, two more rounds after this one. We'll force a retreat here for them. Yeah, he's gonna take the. Uh, so far, so good. He's gonna take the. Um, I'm receiving you. Infernal rounds. Is that too close to the elemental, though? I think we're good here. Roger, Skipper. Kicking in. We'll pull this guy down, and then we'll back up. There goes his leg, and we hit the vehicle. Damn it. And he bailed. Well, that's a trade-off. Oh! <gasps> See ya! That turret, man. Holy crap. This game has been just blown wide open. They're in, they're in like, a total, uh... Just, like... Commander? If we, if this was just a regular match... And not, um, not a, a, a uh, base defense. We could completely push this advantage and clean them off the map here. I want to use the bolt-on rockets on this guy. We're switching to Inferno. Let's do as much damage on this Scorpion as we can. Primitive. He's got a lot of armor, now but he's panicking now. He yep. did a fair bit of damage. Let's push him again. Can we get in and get a shot on him? Only indirect, eh? We can't see anybody directly, can we? Oh, we can see the toadies directly from here. 
That's a really bad chance to hit, though. So let's get up here, get some height. We've only got a couple rounds left, so let's maximize the damage on the enemy as much as we can here. On target. Wow. Missed. Should have hit with at least four. Waiting for orders. Roger that. Take a little bit of heat from the flames, but this mech runs so cool, I'm not really that worried about it. Fire everything on him. Taking the shot. Alright, three hits. Structure exposed. We'll use the LRM on him. Oh, gatekeeper. The toady's out of range. What kind of armor are we looking at on this thing? It's a lot of armor. Let's go after this guy. Um, standard is six. Inferno is four. Let's go with Inferno so we can ensure we got the standard for the last little bit and fire on him. Nice, there he goes. Pop like a surprise from a Cracker Jack box. I think it's the A that's got the missiles. Am I mis or maybe I'm mistaken. Bandit. Svantovit. What is this guy back here again? Shoot, we gotta get on that Svantovit. I don't think they got the juice to finish this I'm up. Here. Don't think they quite had the juice to finish this up. This should be good. Yeah. Awaiting orders. Moving to position. Now, which adder? Oh, it was a spent of it that had the missiles. Is he off my radar? No, there he is there. 1.9. It's not worth it. Oh, he's got two LRM-5s. It's not so bad. I don't know which adder it is that's got the LRMs, but we're just going to shoot in the toadies here. Let them know we see them. Nice. 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 <laughs> Alright, that was missed. Alright, we're gonna see if we can kill the Zephyr. I'm sure it's got a lot of good electronics on it, so... We're gonna get on this with everybody here. Standing by. Uh, can we get you on this side of it, though? Cannot. Confirmed. Staying with the Inferno. Firing. Not panicking yet. Ready to get it on. Well, he's got lots of armor too, so there's no reason for him to panic. That's too close to the toady. Let's get on the toady though. He's hurt. Let's see if we can apply some more damage to him. Receiving you. That's a side I shot. Gotcha. On the move. Hammer him. Target locked. It's go time. Okay, now he's panicking. So Cloudbuster on the elemental. And the hunter is gonna go after the uh 
the vehicle. Waiting for orders. Aye. Let's get up here. Shooting this guy. He's getting too close to my guys. Copy that, Commander. Nice. Damage minimal. Yeah, we hit our own guy. But we're stripping the armor off that elemental, so... It's just who? Who's left? Marlin? Marlin's left. Alright, minimal damage. As long as he keeps moving back away from the front. There's the adder. Is that the missile guy? Nope. One of our structures has been yeah, I know. We can lose two more and we're okay. Reporting. Confirmed. Fire on this guy. Docking on. Maybe we can get a... Maybe we can distract him. I don't know. Wait, is this round 10? Are we done? Is this their last gambit here? Ooh, nice hit. Those turrets have been pretty solid this, pretty, this whole match. Well, our whole unit has. We were pretty crappy at the start, but then everything just picked up. Got a few kills under our belts and then everything changed. Is this it? It is! Hey, we forced them out! Oh my god, that was awesome! Mission successful. Okay, well we got a little bit of money there, which is okay. Just. I don't think we took a lot of through armor. I don't think we took any through armor critical, so I think we should be fine in that res respect. Let's have a look here. Um, all right, we got three Cougar parts. And a Cougar Prime. What's the difference between the Prime? And the B. Dual ER PPCs and a backup ERML. What does the Prime have? Doesn't say. Okay, well, we don't have any parts of any other clan stuff, so let's go down here and see if there's some things that we want. Large Pulse Laser Clan, LRM 10 Clan. Streak 2s. SLDF cockpits and no steel clan. I'm going to have to keep a notebook from now on. And I know I've said this so many times in the past. Keep a notebook of about what we need to keep and what we need to get rid of. You know what I should do? I think if I take both of these. Because we want to start dropping more guys, right? So I need to get my C bills over. It needs to be close to 3 million before we can do that. Because it's going to be 2.1 million to get the junk leopard. And then we need to have some for our financial reports, which are fairly expensive. So if I go that route, this is worth 3.5. These are worth 4.5 each. I think if we go that route, and everything else that anything else that we get here is gravy for us. But we're going to go this route. All right, so we've got a cougar, and we've got an adder part. We've got the cougar prime part, locust part, another elemental part. Uh, scorpion part, no big deal. Regular ER large laser. We're going to go ahead and sell that. We've already got one, but we don't need the regular one. Medium pulse will hang on to. The armor can go. The 100 core can go. Keep the 210. We're going to sell both of these guys. I know it sounds crazy, but we need the C-bills. That's right there is going to give, it, give us our junk leopard. The 210. Do we have a 210? We do, so we can sell that as well. Streak ammo will hang on to. Double heat sink will hang on to. So that was actually great. Now we're going to bring the cougar back and see what we get out of it. All right, let's have a quick look in the mech bay here. Nice I think, yeah, these guys are all fine. So let's go ahead. 
I'm going to get rid of these guys. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of them. Scrap you. And we're going to scrap this guy. I know we spent money to get them fixed, but... Uh, I think we're going to stay all clan with this with this particular group. Get rid of those guys. Go to storage. And let's bring forward that cougar, which is right... So this doesn't tell me what it comes equipped with. we got one ballistic hard point. That's it? And five support. Wow. Okay, I think we go with this one. Now we probably don't have... Probably not going to get much back from this, but um, let's have a quick look. Now we have our Hussar in storage here. I dropped the Wasp Lamb into here because honestly, it, it just doesn't have what we need to be able to do any fighting. Now we got three toady parts. Can we... We can't assemble one yet. I wonder if you need to have um, three of the same kind. I don't know. Um, let's go to the base. Let's have a look at the Cougar. Ooh, the ER medium laser looks like it... Oh, that got destroyed. I thought I was going to say it looked like it stayed, but... Wow. Okay, not so bad. Because it is an Omnimech, so everything in the CT stays. Got the, we, yeah, we did kept, keep the ER medium. A couple of double heat sinks. Now, we need three clan double heat sinks to get this thing up and running. We do have an ER PPC. Um, we got a lot of weight on this guy, too. So let's max out the armor. First things first. It's always the important thing is to max out the armor. Um, what are we looking at for heat for this guy? So this uses 56 heat. Drop it in the arm. Do we have... I don't know if this guy can support... Um, do we have clan... Where are you here? No, we don't. I thought we had a uh, clan, um, uh, like lower arm and hands, but we do not. And we don't have any clan double heat sinks left. Ah, which means we can't put this guy together. We need another double heat sink. I wonder though, if we, um, This is 30 days. You know what? Let's just confirm this. Oops. Maybe I should uh, actually do it properly. Alright, we're just going to go ahead and repair it all. Max out the armor. 30 days, 355,000. We're going to go ahead and just get this repaired like this. Because, you know, in 30 days, we're going to have another double heatsink. So we're just going to confirm this. And we should be able to get another double heat sink within that amount of time. If not, I mean, we'll be getting either replacing the mislinks or the mongoose. Probably going to be the mislinks. Not 100% sold on either of them yet. Uh, but one of these will end up going. Um, that's easy to pilot. This has got improved sensors. So maybe we hold on to the mislinks. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And then... Um, the Cougar will, re will replace one of those guys. Uh, and then maybe we change the loadout in the Kit Fox. This becomes the fire support long range in the Kit Fox's place. I don't know. I got to think about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we managed to hold on to the south, which is great. And... Um, we let the uh, the clans know that uh, we mean business here, and that they're not. It's not going to be a a a, um, a walk through the park like they think it's going to be. All right. So I'm going to end the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.